Hi everyone, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. Today is Thursday and I wanted to do a What Sold Wednesday, but yesterday was Veterans Day, which the USPS was closed, so I'm doing my shipping out this morning and wanted to give you a little What Sold. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and Facebook, and a lot of other places. I'll let you know what sold where. And then at the very end, if you stick with me, I am selling some of my personal items, and we'll give you a deal, and I'll include the shipping. So stick around if you possibly want to score something for yourself. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to put the picture of my actual listing up here in the corner because I already have my items pre-wrapped with my inventory number. I just take these off and reuse these, but... Here's the item. It is actually an infant's Hannah Anderson Argyle print sweater, like one piece, little hooded outfit. It's darling. I have had this for sale for about a year, but I believe I got it at the bins or for like maybe a dollar. And it actually sold on Poshmark, best offer of $15. So that's a pretty cool. I think the profit's like 12 bucks. Here we have... Um, 1940s postcards and again I've had these for sale for probably a year on Facebook marketplace but I recently added the shipping option which if you add shipping to your Facebook listings if you do have that option it will greatly increase your audience um, when you are shopping on Facebook there is a filter on the side that says shipping available and if you click that um, most of the shoppers are going to be online so just a little tidbit of information. My husband has actually had these for a while, or he got them at an auction, like in a big lot. And I was going to throw them away, but they are very neat. I will put the pictures up above of what they were. I only sold them for $5 total. The person did pay for shipping, but I just couldn't throw them away. And I, I possibly could have made more, but I think when I was listing these items, um, I was just listing whatever I could find around the house. So... Okay, the next item sold on eBay, and this is a rare set of clear Snoopy playing cards. That's my baby. She cries a lot. She's going through something right now. <laughs> okay, um, I think they're by Cedar Point. I'll put a picture up above. I have had them for sale for about six months. Hold on, I think she's stuck. I can tell by cries, like, what's going on, and I think she's stuck, so give me one sec. I was right. She was stuck on her footstool. Okay. So those uh, Snoopy cards actually sell for $20, if I didn't say so. And I picked those up for probably a dollar or under a dollar at my local thrift store. Okay, here we have a novelty print. I believe it's like a London print. Bowden women's button-down shirt. And typically, these don't have that great of a resale value. However, it was a size 18. I was going to send in the thread up, but then about a month ago, I halted sending items in the thread up. And this actually made me... It sold for $40 on Macari. So, if you think about Macari, it would shock you for what sells on there. So, $40 plus $5 shipping. And I had this listed on there. It sold probably within less than a week of being listed. Those bigger sizes just do really well. Okay, so here we have a lilac or lavender um, gap. I think it was an Academy blazer. The Academy blazers do pretty well between $20 and $35. They used to do better, but... There's still a solid sale. However, this was listed for probably six months, but I got it for $1.50 and it sold on sale for $21 on eBay. Next, this item sold within 10 hours of listing, maybe 12 hours. And I'm going to put a picture up above because this is actually showing it's gold, but it's a multicolored jeweled 10 light vintage Christmas tree topper with like the gold tinsel around it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'll show a picture of it lit too because that's when it's really pretty. Um, again, I was checking comps and I was listing it and people were listing them for like $13. And I always go with what I feel it's valued at. So I listed it at $24.99. I'm doing most of my listings on eBay now with promoted listing, which is an additional fee. But I just raised my comp or my price a few dollars, which covers for it. And I've had really great luck with it for the last few weeks. So this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. It is going first class. And this is a thin cardboard box. I don't want it damaged. So I just wrap it in some other kind of cardboard, whatever I've laying around. And I try to recycle boxes. Like if I've already used a box, you know, I'll try to recycle it in some way. Okay, this one is also kind of a shocker to me. So here we have a Kelvin Klein sweater dress. 
I sent in probably five Calvin Klein sweater dresses in like almost the same style to thread up and I'm no longer going to send things into thread up at least right now until I can reevaluate it. And so I listed this on eBay well, and all the other platforms. It got quite a bit of traction. I almost sold it on Facebook and finally sold it on eBay for $21. I paid $1.50 for it. And then, like I said, everybody pays for their shipping. I don't do free shipping. Okay. Let's go to the next item, which is a pair of Maurice's skinny jeans. They're like the jeggy. I think they're pull-on. They were a size extra large, and somebody gifted these to me. I wouldn't thrift them, but I got decent traction with those across the platforms, and they sold best offer for $18 or $19 on Poshmark. Okay, so those are the items that sold. I think I sold eight items, which isn't great, but like I said, over the summer, I put a lot of my time and energy into Thread Up because it worked with my schedule with the kids. So now I'm trying to build back up my other platforms as we are in Q4. Okay, so if you like a deal on clothing, stick around because I have probably six items that I will be listing. Okay. I'm going to have to put my daughter down. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi. Her name is Ellie. She is, I think, 14 months old, probably almost 15 months old. She got glasses a few weeks ago, and we are really struggling to keep <coughs> it on and in one piece because they break hello. a lot. Did you say hello? Hello. Okay, so I'm going to try to put her down so I can hold up these pieces of clothing. Okay. I know, I know. Hold on, hold on. We'll see if this works, guys. Okay, so this is super cute. It is by Victoria's Secret Pink, and it's got like a boat neck with the raw hem. It is for Chicago Bears. It's super cozy. It's like a um, thin sweatshirt material. It is a large, it fits true to size, and then on the back, it says pink, I will do $20 shipped. It will go first class, I'm guessing it's probably 13 ounces. So $20 shipped. I do not have any flaws on it. I wore it a few times. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I wore it a couple of times and the reason I'm getting rid of it is because I prefer crew necks. I do not like the boat neck. I just, I get tired of fixing it falling off my shoulder so but a lot of people like that look and it's just not for me so 20 shipped that is a size large the next item I have it is so cute it is a Nike it's really it's bright you can't see how bright it is but it's got like a neon pink swoosh it is hooded and it's got like um, a cowl neck and it is an extra large thermo fit there is nothing wrong with it. It's not a kangaroo pouch. I know, that's her fake cry. And there's the back. It has thumb holes. But I have only worn it probably a few times. And this neckline, I don't like it because it it's up on my neck. And it just bothers me. So I'm going to sell it. Um, I would do 25 shipped. Okay, so now I see a pen mark on it, and it wasn't there before. So it's on my counter, and I'm going to wash it. So as long as I can get the pen mark out, I will sell it for $25 shipped. That will have to go priority because it's over a pound. So $25 shipped for that one as long as I can get the pen mark out. That's an extra large. <laughs> the next item I have is a... And I bought this for myself, but I never... I don't think I ever wore it, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> okay. Um, it is super cute. It's like a burgundy. Um, strappy. I think it's a sports bra, but it would be for, like, a t-shirt bra because I don't think it would provide much support. And on the back, it has the little racerback T-strap. And there's no, like, extra padding in it. It is by... 90 degrees, I think, or, no, I'm sorry, Scorpio Soul, never heard of the brain. It is a size large. I did thrift it, um, but I cannot wear thin straps like this because it gives me headaches, 
Unfortunately, I can't wear all these cute little bras. But I'll sell that to you for like $10 shipped. It's a size large. I would say it's not for somebody huge, like with a big bust. So, um, $10 shipped, you know, whatever. Okay. I don't know if you guys have seen leggings, like an advertisement on Instagram or Facebook, but it's like this textured, they're like the wedgie leggings. And do you see how it's got that ruche on the butt? Okay. I am not bold enough, if you can imagine, to wear these. Um, they are like a boutique brand, like no brand really. It says they're an extra large, but let me tell you, they are not. I would say they fit like a medium. And so they've got this rib look and it really makes your butt like look like you've been doing tons of squats, but I'm just not comfortable to wear these out in public. So I'm going to sell them. We'll do like $15 shipped. I think I wore them once. And like I said, their tag does an extra large, but they fit like a medium for sure. Okay, here we have a pair of Sanctuary Lounge Joggers. They are super cozy. Seriously, you guys, like, this is my day. <laughs> this is a normal, like, this is just, and I know it's a face, and I know it will pass, and I'm not trying to coddle her because I want her to, like, soothe herself a little bit. Anyways. It's got the flap pockets on the back. It's more like a faded black. Um, I did thrift these and I wore them a couple times and I don't know, they're like a pull on waist. I can't remember Sanctuary sold. They are a size large, they price it like a size 10. Yeah. So I would sell these for like $15 shipped, 15 shipped. Again, just like a casual faded black jogger, just like a classic piece that you can wear year round. Cause Okay, the last piece is something I wore last season and I'm just not much into like an open knit cardigan anymore. So this is, it's got a really neat weave on it. It is like a black and white with a silver metallic throughout. It is Aeropostale extra large. I think I thrifted it. I can't remember. Um, there are some poles like right here. I will pull them back through with my tool. Um, it does have a little bit of wear because I, I washed it a few times. Um, I don't know if I can get this in a padded flat. That's the problem. Yeah, I think I might be able to get a padded flat. I saw this for, gosh, I don't even know. We'll do like $15 shipped. Well, no, we better do $18 shipped because I don't think I can get this in a padded flat because it's like a chunky open front. I don't know if I showed you guys the whole thing. But, I mean, you can wear this pretty much with any kind of outfit. So, again, we'll do 18 shipped for that and it's an extra large. So, um, if you guys are interested in anything, just let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching my What Sold. I have another video that is coming up next that is about eBay jail that I'm currently in. So I'm going to dive into eBay jail for my next video. I hope you guys have a great and safe day. Have a thrift delicious day, guys. Bye.